Hey guys, welcome to another plan with me. Um, it has been a super long time since I've done one of these. I just got kind of busy and crazy with school and stuff, and so I haven't really been doing them until now. I'm going to try and catch up. Um, so this week, I'm this is from the week of September 3rd through the 9th, and I'm using this kit, Inner Moonlight, by uh, Moonlight Paper Co. I think her shop is closed right now, and she's going to reopen in 2019. Um, but this is the like celestial art that a lot of shops used. Um, it's really, really pretty. So I know like a lot of shops wanted to make art out of it and, or uh, kits out of it. And um, I just really like the format of Moonlight Paper Co.'s um, kits. So I went with hers. Uh, it comes with all the kind of stuff that I use, like little things and um, a lot of like icons, which I like in a kit. Um, but anyway. So right now I'm just putting down the glitter headers. I kind of use the same like variation each time that I do them. I just alternate the colors across and like uh, down the boxes in the same like repeating pattern. And I think, yeah, now I'm doing a washi. Um, I really like all the dark colors in this kit. Like you have all the pastels and then you have the super dark navy like in the washi um it's just really pretty I tend to prefer kits that have darker colors just because that's like most of my wardrobe is black and like I just like darker things and um so a lot of the like super super like I like pastel things too I think I use a pastel kit later in the month um but it's just nice when so many kits are like super light and like heavily pink <laughs> um to find some that are a little different have some like more color variation and like the type of tones they use and things like that so um I just really like this art and how it's used in the kit um so now I'm doing the sidebar and I chose to use this um full box that says stay true to who you are and then I'm putting down a this week header and doing the um weekly tracker right daily track weekly tracker um to mark my water intake for the week and then underneath that I put a few of the habit trackers I think I think all of these came from the kit um what actually I think I had also I had gotten a mini version of this kit and then ended up like buying some add-ons to make it a full kit because I just I don't know I don't I don't use like I always have a lot of stickers left over when I use full kits but I just prefer the variety that I get like the choices that I have in what stickers to use so I prefer using full kits um so I ended up like adding on and I had an extra habit tracker because of it but anyway then I put down this don't forget um header and underneath that just put a full box checklist and I really like her checklist and how there's no like there's no lines or anything like you know there's no like the vertical bars that make up the ombre and a lot of checklists and stuff like that it's just like the heart um check boxes and in the square and it has like little like pattern from the kit on the edges of the box which is really pretty so that's my sidebar and I think I just fill it out I think um for my habits this week I was tracking like doing some more intensive hair care, stretching, and um, doing a daily ab workout, which I've been trying to consistently do that for like probably a month now, maybe more, and it's so hard. Like some weeks I'm really good, and then other weeks I just totally fall off the wagon. Um, it's just really hard to maintain with like all the work that I have to do. Sometimes when I get up in the morning, I want to immediately start getting schoolwork done as opposed to like I feel like it slows down my day to get up and like exercise even though that's bad and I should exercise on a daily basis but um I don't know I think most people understand that that's like a hard habit to maintain most of the time um so anyway starting off with Monday um I started with this little washi strip and then put no school um that was was that Labor Day? That was a holiday, so I didn't have school. Um, so I put this no school sticker from Kina Prince. Um, and then I went ahead and put down this full box just so that I wouldn't forget to set it down. Um, and then a half box 
at the bottom because I had work that night. And the pen I'm using, by the way, is, let me see, I have it in front of me, um, the Sarasa Dry Clip Pen. I really like the way it white the way it writes, and I also like the pastel color kind of went with this kit this week. Um, I pulled out a sticker from like my what do you call it my um, freebie collection. Um, this is from Paper Aka, and I used that to mark that I had coffee. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm yawning. Um, but I had coffee with my boyfriend Alex that morning. I used this family time sticker from the kit. Um, to mark that I spent some time with my family. My brother was visiting, um, so we all went bowling, which I used, which I marked with a quarter box and the sticker from Happy Cutie Studio. Um, and then, oh, I'm not entirely sure. I want to say that that guacamole and chip sticker is from Sweet RT Designs, but I'm not sure. But I used that to mark that we went to Chili's since that's like the Chili's thing is their chips. Um, they're so good. Um, so Tuesday I used this running sticker from the kit and my little stencil to make a, um, checkbox to mark that I wanted to go on a run. Um, underneath that I la layered two little things on top of each other and then layered on top of that a little phone icon. Um, I'm not, I'm trying to remember which shop this phone icon is from and I definitely should have gone through and like made sure I remembered where all my stickers are from didn't do that. Um, so anyway, I used that phone icon to mark, um, it's either from Planner-esque or it's from Piper Paper, no, it's not from Piper Paper Company, um, it's probably from Planner-esque. Anyway, um, I used that to mark that I needed to make some calls to the pharmacy and the doctor's office. Underneath that, I used this little character sticker from Peaceful Mind Design, and a cut-down checklist from the kit to mark that I wanted to do some, like, planner-related things, like filming and photographing my plan planner for Instagram. Underneath that, I put another full box. Um, and then for the bottom box, I used this sketchbook sticker from Sweet RT Designs, and I used that to mark that I wanted to work in my sketchbook. I've been really bad about maintaining a sketchbook habit lately, so I'm trying to put it in my planner more to, like, actually work on it, but... I've been a little better about it, but it's still not great. Um, I used this little laptop icon from the kit to mark that I wanted to do some school uh, responses as part of like a school assignment um, to some reading I'd done. And then underneath that, I used this Coffee Monsters Co. Uh, book icon to mark some school reading. And then a um, quarter box from the kit with this Moonlight Paper Co. like pencil and paper icon uh, to mark that I wanted to write some notes for the chapter that I'd read. On Wednesday, I had payday, so I used this payday sticker, payday, like, script sticker from the kit, um, and then underneath that, I marked running again with a little shoe icon from the kit and my stencil, um, I used the little things with a, what do you call that? Alarm clock <laughs> to mark, sorry, I, it's like a super basic word that I, for some reason, just cannot remember how to say, um, to mark that I had an appointment that morning at 11, um, after that, my boyfriend Alex and I went to the cutest little, like, bakery in the downtown Duluth area. Um, not bakery, like, breakfast brunch place. It was really, really good. We had, um, it was Maple Street Biscuit Co Company, um, and we had, like, chicken and waffles. It was so good. Um, underneath that, I used the little things and covered the icon with this email sticker from Libby & Co. to mark that I needed to email my professor. Um, and then I did the same thing that I did, oh, I put down the full box, and then I did the same thing that I did the previous day to mark, like, the planner to-dos that I had, that I wanted to get done, um, and I put this little Peaceful Mind Design character sticker on the left, and then, uh, put a little checklist that I cut down next to it to mark that I wanted to get some voiceovers done, um, photograph my planner, and work on a planner clip. I've been doing something, I'm really behind now, because I, like, have been behind on everything, um, but I wanted to do something where I, like, make needle felt a, a planner clip every week to like coordinate with whatever kit I'm using. Um, it's been really fun. I've done some like really cute ones so far. So, um, I next used this little quarter box with a pencil sticker from Moonlight Paper Co. to mark working in my sketchbook and then did the same book icon from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark some more school reading. And I think I do, 
yeah, just little things. Um, sticker from the kit, I layered with a, like, really small paint palette icon from Peaceful Mind Design, um, to mark that I wanted to work on my visual journal. Um, because I'm in, like, mental health, it's really important, like, as a career, it's really important that you kind of understand, like, how to take care of yourself since you're kind of, you know, not, you're not taking care of people, like, that's not really your job description as, like, a therapist, but, you know, you're helping people take care of themselves, um, and so you kind of have to understand how to do that for yourself and understand how to be, like, introspective and things like that, so, um, a really big part of one of the classes I'm taking is doing, like, daily visual journals, so. Um, for Thursday, I started off with this doctor's appointment, oh, so this is where it starts to get crazy, so, um, you might notice that my boxes are arranged in an order that's, like, really weird and or just like not how I normally do them that is because I kept doing it like instead of putting down the boxes beforehand I put them down like each day as I was planning and I kept forgetting to put the box down so that's why like um Tuesday through Wednesday all the boxes are on the bottom because I already started planning in the first box and then realized like oh I meant to put a full box here um so I put all that stuff down Thursday and then rip it right back up. Um, I probably could have done undo for all of these. Honestly, that probably would have been a little better because it was like a whole box of stickers. Um, I'm so lazy when it comes to my undo. I don't like waiting for it to dry and stuff like that. So I don't really use it that often unless it's something that like picking it up at all is just going to rip and ruin the whole thing. Um, but I was able to just like slowly peel these up and not have them rip or anything. So I just moved it all down. I had a doctor's appointment with this label from Little Things. Um, I used a little money bag icon to mark I had to deposit a check. And then I layered this Pretty and Primco bunny pillow sticker over a quarter box to mark that I took a quick nap. Underneath that, I used this half box with a shopping bag icon from a store that isn't open anymore. And this Etsy um, icon, which, ooh, where is that from? I want to say it's from Banana Doodle Shop or something like it. Um, I think it is from Banana... Or is it from Coffee Monsters Co? It's from Banana Doodle Shop, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, <laughs> to mark online shopping. Uh, if you have, like, questions about where something came from, just ask in the comments and I'll be able to, like, actually look it up and say, like, this came from here if you're really curious about where that sticker is from. Um, under that, I use this book stack sticker from the kit to mark some reading that I did for school. And then I wanted to braid my hair up for the night, um... So I used this blow dryer icon from the kit over a washi strip. For Friday, I wanted to go for a run again, so I did the same, like, marked run with my stencil and this little icon from the kit. Um, I used this Etsy icon, Little Things, to mark I did a little bit of online shopping. Um, and then under that, I layered... Um, I was having some problems with my card, so I layered my uh, a phone icon uh, that I think was from a sampler over top a credit card icon from the kit to mark that I wanted to call the bank. Underneath that I had some labs um, that I had to pay for and so I used this bill due sticker from the kit and just marked labs. Um, I didn't want to put like an amount since it's you know a planner that I post so I just drew a line through it. Um, Underneath that, I finally remembered to put in a full box, <laughs> and so I put that down in the middle square. Um, and then for the bottom section, I put a little things um, that I layered on top of, or I, and I layered on top of it a email icon, or like a mail letter icon um, from Libby and Co. to mark that I had to email someone for my practicum, like internship deal. Um, underneath that, I used this laundry, like, washing machine sticker from Whimsical Cat Studios to mark that I need to wash some clothes, and then the last thing for that day, I just used a half box to mark that I had work that night. For Saturday, I start off the day again putting everything down, um, where it did not belong, so I'm gonna move that over in a second, but, um, I started off that day having coffee on 
Alex's porch that morning, and so I just used this coffee sticker from Sweet Ava's Stickers. Um, it's like a little cat coffee mug, which is really cute. Um, underneath that, I used this shopping bag, little things, and wrote releases to mark some like sticker and like planner related releases that were happening that morning. Um, Mahal made is a really cute like um, charm shop on Etsy that makes just like the most adorable little like initial charms. Um, she had some really cute designs, so she had some like fall releases I think that morning. And then I finally got my hands on a um, Pella Studio, so I was able to snag something from that release, and then Van Sticky, I think, had a release that morning, too. So, I think this is where I realized that I'm doing everything wrong, or did I, like, fill out this whole box? <laughs> um, anyway, I used a quarter box from the kit and this at symbol um, to mark that I sent an email to Pelly Studio because there was like a small issue with my order. Um, it was my fault, but it was totally fine. It got worked out. Um, and then I used this egg sticker from Jalen Paverco to mark that my dad made breakfast. And then as you can see, I realized I made an oopsie. So I'm going back and fixing everything and like whiting everything out, moving everything around. Um, again, I probably could have just like done undo on this but again I'm lazy and I don't like waiting it's, it's not that I'm lazy I just I'm impatient and I don't want to wait for things to dry I feel like it's such a process to like I don't know everything's it's, it doesn't take that long to dry I'm just very impatient so I moved everything down to that second box um and then to try and kind of balance things out where I have so many full boxes on the bottom from Monday through um Wednesday I wanted to put a full box on the top of Saturday. So now I'm just refilling out the releases that I had that morning or that I like shopped for that morning. Um, and then I'm covering all this writing with whiteout and then putting down the full box. I probably could have just put down the full box because it's like really thick opaque paper. Um, but whatever. I think I just wanted to make sure that I didn't like mess it up again somehow. <laughs> um, so now I'm putting this full box at the bottom on Sunday. And, oh yeah, I put the full box down because, again, I had to work um, that Saturday night. For Sunday, I started off the day with a little things, um, like package icon little things to mark that I got something from Amazon. Um, and then under that, I did a lot of shopping this week, geez. Um, under that, I used this little shopping icon from the kit to mark online shopping. Um, underneath that, I did a little computer laptop little icon little things to mark that I wanted to work on voiceovers and then use this camera from the kit to mark that I wanted to film a plan with me and then photograph my planner for Instagram. I spent pretty much the rest of the day um, working on homework so I used like this whole full box um, or this whole box to mark that. I used this little quarter box with a Lola sticker from Banana Doodle Shop and a homework sticker from uh, planner bell press and wrote down the homework that I had and then I just used this heart icon little things to mark that I wanted to wash my makeup brushes that night. So this is my whole spread from September 3rd through 9th with the inner moonlight kit from um, Moonlight Paper Co. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if this was like kind of a mess. I haven't done this in a while so I'm getting back into the flow of doing these voiceovers and everything. Um, but thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!